Welcome to GED Math in 30 Days. And today we'll be covering finding the slope from a graph. Okay, it's not difficult. Um, uh, as a previous, as from previous lessons, we know that the slope is the steepness of the line. What we also know from a previous lesson is that we identify a slope from left to right. Okay, so that's one. That's another point I want to make. So, again, slope is the steepness of a line, and we indicate slope going from left to right. So. Um, we can find the slope from two points, as we previously did, and that formula was m equal y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Um, you can find the slope from an equation, either in slope-intercept form or in standard form. Slope-intercept form is y equal mx plus b, and standard form is ax plus by equal c. You can also find the slope from an equation. And that's what we'll be covering today. Um, so to, to, uh, the thing I want you to understand is that slope will be on your exam in many uh, uh, various ways. So they might, they might not ask you explicitly was the slope from this graph, but they might say what equation is indicated by this graph or, 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 or a question like that. Okay, it's not too many times they ask you specifically what the slope from the graph is, but you have to know what the slope is in order to know the equation. So let's look at some examples. So first of all, let me click in here, make this a little bit bigger. Let's look at number one. Okay, so as we look at this problem, they give us two points. But you also should understand that a line has infinite points. So a lot of times on the exam, G, the exam, they won't indicate the points. You have to know that you can select any two points on the graph. So as we look here, let me grab my pencil. As we look down this line, we would not, let me make sure, let me change my color to red. Okay. We would not select this point here. Now this point is on this line. But unfortunately, if we look at the X, our X is minus four. But if we look at our Y, we have no idea what that is. So according to, you know, for, for the type of problems you will receive on the GD, you want to select a point that has whole numbers for your X and Y values. That's very, very important. So as I go down this line, I could have selected this point here. Going down the line, I could have selected this point here. I could select this point here. I could select this point here. Okay. So if you notice, we can, you can select any two points. Now they gave us two. What, I, what I'm about to show you is that no matter what two points you pick or select, you can find the slope. So um, we know how to find a slope from two points. And that's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We know how to find the slope from a table. That's the change in y over the change in x. So now, when we're trying to find a slope from a graph, we want to use m equal rise over run, which is the change in y in the change in x, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Again, it's just different, it's, it's different, ways, different ways to show the same thing. So graph, you want to think of it as rise over run, okay? So I'm going to select two points that are close to each other. Now, I could use the two points um, that are given. So let me, let me do that first. So again, the first thing you want to know is from left to right, which direction is this line going? So if you notice from left to right, so let me grab my arrow, from left to right, from my leftmost point, down to my point, I'm going down, okay? So if you're going down, that is a, oops, that is a negative slope. From left to right, if you're going up, it's a positive slope. So you should be able to identify right away whether a slope is positive or negative just by looking at the line. 
going from left to right. If it's going up, it's positive. If it's going down, it's negative. So let me grab my arrow. Let's pick the two points that they've chosen for us. So I'm gonna start here. So rise, what direction is rise? Rise is up. Again, that's very easy. Rise is up. Now, if you're going down, that's still rise, but rise, if we're going down, it's a negative answer. So if we're going up, the rise is positive. If we're going down, the rise is negative. Same thing for the run. The run is go, goes from left to right. If you go to the right, it is positive. If you go to the left, it is negative. So it's very important for you to understand. Okay, so first of all, you should be able to identify whether it's positive or negative going from left to right. And you should also know that going up into the right is positive and going down into the left is negative. So for example, from this point to get to this point, I gotta have to go down first. So I'm gonna go down one, two, three, four, five. So I had to go down five. Because I went down five, my rise is negative five. So my rise is negative five. Okay, and it's, it's good to keep writing your formula till you know it, till you can commit it to memory. And then we have to go from that location over to our point. So now, from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, this is going by ones. All graphs do not go by ones. They might go by tens, or hundreds, or thousands. But for this graph, each unit is only one. So we had to go over since we went to the right. It doesn't matter. Very important. It doesn't matter that we started on the negative side. Because we went to the right, our run is plus 10. Let me say that one more time. Be even though we started on the left side, even though we started in the negative side of our graph, because we went to the right, it's a positive 10. Now, we reduce to lowest terms. So first of all, negative and a positive make a negative. Five going to five one time, five going to 10 two times. So our slope for this graph will be negative one half. Our slope for this graph will be negative one half. Okay, so that was example number one. Our slope is one half. Okay, so let me take a picture. Let me clear the screen. And let's go to example number two. Let's do about two, two or three examples. Okay, let's look at this one here. Look at number two. So first of all, what you should be saying to yourself is from left to right, it's going down. So from left to right, it is going down. From left to right, it is going down. Okay, so that tells you is a negative slope from right away. That's the first thing you look at. Okay, whether the slope is positive or negative. The second thing you want to do, you want to understand that since we have a graph, we're going to use rise over run. That's the easiest way. You could take the coordinates of the point and plug them in, but this is the easiest way rise, rise over run. So again, start at your leftmost point. You don't have to start at your leftmost point, but um, by habit, that's what I usually do. You can uh, start from the from any point because remember, slope is the constant rate of change. And I'll show you that in a minute. For example, so here, we're gonna, to get to this point, I have to do rise, so I have to go up or down first. One, two, three. Okay, so since I went down three, my run is negative three. Okay, now I have to go from this point over to, my for, have to go from here. I have to go over to my point, so I have to go over five, ten. So again, since I'm going to the right, it is a positive ten. Since we cannot reduce anymore, our slope will be negative three over ten. Okay, that's finding the slope from a graph. Okay, let me clear it. And let's try number three. Let's try number three, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm gonna give you about a minute or so to do this problem and find the slope, and then I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, 
So I hope you were able to do this problem. Let's do this together. So first of all, um, we want to kind of identify whether this slope is positive or negative. So we're going to start at our leftmost point, which is here. We're going to go from left to right. And because from left to right, which direction are we going? We're going up. That, may, that means our slope is going to be positive. Our slope is going to be positive. So we already know, even before we look at our, our multiple choices, we know our answer is going to have a positive slope. So that's a good thing to know because on the GED exam, they usually going to have two positive answers and two negative answers. So right away, you should be able to get removed two of those answers. So again, we have a positive slope. We're going to start uh, with our leftmost point. And we're going to start here. And how do we get to our other point on this line? Well, first, rise means we have to go up or down. So again, write your formula, m equal rise over run. OK, now start from our leftmost point here, and we have to go up 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So since we went up, our rise, our rise is plus 10. OK, now from there, we have to go to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. So our run is a positive four. Our rise was a positive 10. Since they're both positive, our slope is still gonna be positive and we gotta reduce. So two goes into 10 five times and two goes into four two times. So our greatest common factor is two. You wanna make sure we're using proper terminology. So our slope for this equation is five over Two. Now, what I want to show you is this. So let me uh, erase a little bit. Remember, we, we talk about uh, a constant rate of change when we talk about slope. So watch this. I, what I want to show you is our slope is five over two. So every time we go up five and over two, we're going to be on the line. Up five, over two. So every time we go up five, and over two, we're gonna be have we're gonna be a point on that line. But guess what? We could also go the other way. We could also go down. Now, two negatives make a positive. So a positive five over two could also be negative five over negative two. Well, our rise is negative five, and our run is negative two. So let me change the color of my uh, arrow. And let's go the other way, just to show you. So I'm going to start from this point. One, two, three, four, five. I went down five. Now, since my run is negative, I have to go to the left. One, two. On the line. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. On the line. So it doesn't matter. So you want to remember that. You know, when you have a negative uh, slope, either the top or bottom can be negative, And they're the same answer. When you're when your slope is positive, both of them, both, both of your rise and run can be positive, or both of your rise and run can be negative in order for your slope to be positive. Okay. Okay, let me clear the screen. Let's try one more. Okay. Let's try one more. One more. One more. Let's see. Let's see. Let's try this one here, number eight. Number eight, let's try number eight. Again, uh, I like to use the worksheets uh, from several different sites. The, uh, the worksheet that I'm using today is mathaids.com. They make dynamic sheets uh, that you can use uh, if you need to print out and, and have practice problems. I will include the, uh, the link uh, for this worksheet if you need to. All right, so again, Let's look at number eight. Let's find the slope. So first of all, from left to right, what direction is it going? Hopefully, you said down, and that slope is negative. So we know um, right away our slope is negative. So now, we're going to use our leftmost point, or we can use any point on this graph. Just not the two points that they give us. We can use any points. Remember, we want our points to uh, um, um, 
have be on whole numbers for both your x and y axis. So we could pick this number. We could pick this point here. And that's about it. These are basically the only three points you could use on this graph, uh, trying to find a slope this way. So what we want to do is um, m equal rise over run. OK. Uh, we're going to start with the leftmost point. I almost always start with the leftmost point. It's just habit. But I did show you in a previous example, you can uh, start from any point on a graph. I usually start from the leftmost point. So, um, so now here we're going to go down. One, two, three, four. So we went down four. Because we went down four, our, our rise is negative four. Our rise is negative four. And now from that point, we have to go over five, 10. Okay. So again, our run would be a positive 10. Okay. Which you should recognize or what you should know by now for sign numbers, a negative and a positive make a negative. And then we need to reduce this to lowest terms. Our greatest common factor is two, two going to four, two times, two going to 10, five times. So our slope for this graph will be negative two over five. So again, let me show you, negative two over five. So every time we go down two and over five, we should be on that line. So one, two, over five, one, two, three, four, five, on the line. Down two, one, two, over five, one, two, three, four, five. Again, remember what I told you though, okay? This is negative two over five. So we could also use positive two and negative five. Okay, that slope is still negative two over five because a positive and negative makes a negative. So let me change the color again. Let me try blue, but this time we're gonna go up two and to the left five. So up two, one, two, that's the plus two. And since the one is negative, we're gonna go to the left five. One, two, three, four, five. Again, up two, one, two, over five. One, two, three, four, five. So it doesn't matter. That's a nice little thing you wanna keep track of or know um, that you can switch the signs of the, of, of the rise and the run. So for example, if you have negative two fifths as your slope, that could be negative two over five, or it could be two over negative five. On the previous example, we had a positive, I believe it was, uh, uh, I don't remember what it is right now, but say your slope was positive four thirds, you could use a positive four over a positive three, and you can also use a negative four over a negative three, because remember, two negatives make a positive. So that's our lesson for the day, how to find the slope from a graph. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, make sure you check out my website, passgdmath.com. Make sure you check out my ebook. Uh, where, I, where I show you how to solve some of the most difficult problems on the GED exam um, in less than one minute using the TI-30XS calculator. Thank you for joining me. See you next lesson.